<laughs> I don't hear the angle grinder running. <laughs> You're late. I am late, but I had to pass by the shop, you know? Mm. Okay. Oh, nice silver car. Okay, don't show my haircut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's Sunday morning, February 16th, and just coming up to 11.30. Ellen has come up this morning to uh, give me a hand, and he's brought his little uh, his stinger with him. And uh, <laughs> we're going to pull out some uh, dents that we don't have uh, good access to in the back. There's a couple of uh, dents here, and uh, yeah, we're just going to mount that there instead. <laughs> Um, there's a dent here that we can pull out with that. There's a couple other dents here and there that uh, that'll probably be good for. The other thing we want to try to do is he's brought his uh, shrinker stretcher. We're going to try to get this little uh, area to look a little bit better. It's high here, low here. So we're going to see if it's possible to actually shrink this to bring this up. Or stretch it, shrink it, shrink it. Stretch it here. Stretch and it shrink and shrink it here. here. So uh, we'll see if we can do that. It's got a double flange, a double thickness of metal there. So we may not be able to move it, but we're going to try. And then, uh, I don't know what we'll do after that, but we'll see how things go. We have to fit lunch in there at some point and some beer, so anyway. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. So we had the car looking uh, pretty good for a short period of time. Now we're back to the, uh, the ugliness of the, uh, the body tub without the panels on the outside. It's obviously still needs some work on it as far as uh, cleaning up is concerned. What we're going to do now is uh, we decided that we were going to break out the... Um, our homemade rotisserie. These are uh, just plywood planks that we've uh, made and they bolt up to the uh, stock locations here for the hinges and it allow you to roll the body over on its side to be able to work on the bottom. The uh, others normally bolt up to the B post using the stock B post location holes but uh, since this car has been bastardized we're gonna have to come up with another solution to attach the rear boards to the body tub. We're probably going to use, there's some holes that have been drilled maybe for, I'm not sure what these guys drilled them for, maybe for some uh, rust proofing, who knows. There's a plug here and a hole here. I, mean, I think we're going to go through here and use uh, bolts to bolt those back ones on. So anyway, this is kind of what they uh, what they look like. I'm going to just hold that up there real quick. So it looks something like that and uh, obviously that allows you to rotate the car up on its side so we'll attach them to the car and, and then we'll show you them in use obviously we're gonna have to lift the body tub up at some point to get it off the frame and uh, that's gonna entail me getting my shop crane out but uh, it's gonna be pretty tight for space in here at some point uh, anyway we'll see how it goes okay I've installed the door bar on this side of the car so to prevent any uh, flex in the body tub Ellen's got the first uh, wooden piece attached. It looks something like that. And we're just working on that second piece. Just bolting that through. Looking good. Okay, the, uh, the boards are mounted and tightened up. We've got the shop crane out. We've got everything out of the car. We've got the ropes hooked up. We're just going to hook them up to the shop crane. But it was uh, 1.30 he hadn't had a beer yet, so it's getting a little shaky. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was derelict in my duties to provide my beer for him. So anyway, beer and uh, Diet Coke break and then we'll uh, get the body off. All right, here goes the, uh, the first attempt using the uh, rollover apparatus. Finally, it's kids on me. All right, the rollover apparatus, right? <laughs> okay, where are you pulling from? See that, yeah. So nice and solid, actually. Uh, so there's the first look of the uh, 
the the bottom of the garage. Of the, <laughs> yeah, the empty garage. We'll bring another car in now. Yeah, look at that. What are we going to get? TR, TR4 maybe? <laughs> TR4 maybe, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Alright, I'll take you off the tripod and we'll have a better look at the bottom. Okay, here's the uh, first look at the bottom of the um, TR250. And I guess it doesn't look too bad. Uh, we knew of some rust that we had here to fix, so now uh, obviously that's a lot more accessible. And uh, there's a few other areas that we see that need some work. The floors are actually uh, looking pretty good. They even have a nice MG sticker on them. Actually, it's a British Heritage Trust floor. So, uh, anyway, gives us good access to fix what we need to fix. Here's the channels we cut out. We'll make these look a little nicer. And uh, we've got some rust to deal with here. Hopefully it's mostly surface rust. But at least we have good access. And uh, bottom of the trunk needs to be cleaned up. We don't like the look of the uh, inside of this rear valence, but uh, we're going to deal with it the best we can. And by dealing with it, I mean filling it full of rubber under <laughs> rubberized undercoating. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we can do with that. So uh, we'll clean up the bottom of the uh, rear valence. We've still got a little bit of remnants of Bondo on there, but overall it doesn't look too bad. So uh, yeah, those things are excellent. It's, the car is actually very, very stable uh, sitting on them. So I'm quite happy with the way those uh, those worked out. Well, uh, you can even tip it one more time. Yeah. And then it's going to be even easier to work on the floor. If yeah. Yeah, you're going to actually, if you can see the bottom here, you can actually go one more angle on it. So this is going to be good for uh, painting as well. Uh, when we get to painting the bottom of the car, it's going to be, allow us to get some uh, better access. Actually, even on the inside of the body tub, you know, uh, you know, getting down here, for example, it's going to be a lot easier to spray paint in there versus trying to do it while it's sitting upright. So yeah, so this will come in handy. We did have a, uh, a full rotisserie... Uh, with engine stands on either end, but it was just going to be too long to fit in the garage um, and actually use, utilize it as a proper rotisserie. So this uh, wood, uh, what are we calling this? The wooden wonder? Wooden. The wooden wonder? No, over. <laughs> the wooden no, car overturner? <laughs> anyway, so those, uh, those wood things worked out quite, uh, quite well and we'll uh, put them to good use. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll uh, come back in a bit. Probably lunchtime now. Lunchtime, let's eat. Okay, and just a quick look of the uh, how the body sits on this side. As mentioned, we can go one more turn on it if we wanted to, but uh, there's what it looks like sitting on the opposite side. All right. Well, one thing I did want to mention, and it's going to do a little separate uh, video here. I did want to do a quick uh, thank you while I'm here. Ellen has uh, dropped off some tools from uh, Eugene for me. Um, I've got a nice new uh, impact wrench here and a uh, saw, an air saw. And he's also lent me a whole bunch of uh, body tools because uh, obviously I'm going to need those. I see a straight line sander in there and I see a palm DA and another sander, actually two palm DAs and we've got a little sheet metal break in there that he's going to lend me and the uh, paint nib files which are going to come in handy. I could have used those on my last project for sure. So thanks again Eugene and we'll put those to good use. Alright guys, just uh, coming up to 8.30 p.m. on Sunday evening and we've just come up to the garage to uh, hang out for a little while and just uh, enjoy looking at the car up on its side and uh, just doing a little bit more uh, inspection and uh, walk around. So again, thanks to Alan for uh, coming up today and uh, bringing the stinger to get those uh, dents out. That uh, was a relatively uh, quick job. They're fairly easy on this car. We had good access, which is good. And uh, despite the fact that uh, Mr. Yakov forgot the slide hammer attachment for the, uh, for the pins, we managed to uh, use a pair of uh, vice grips on there with a hammer to, uh, to get out what we needed to get out. So I'm happy to uh, say that I'm, I'm really impressed with this uh, wooden rotisserie, I guess we could call it. It works fantastic and I've just been playing around with it, putting it in, a, in the, uh, the next position. And I'm going to show you that. Now, the intent of this uh, rotisserie is that you can also get it completely over on uh, its top, basically, lying flat. Uh, but I don't think I see a need to do that. But I will show you the next position, which is uh, I can go one more 
uh, rollover before I go flat. So I'll just show you that really quickly. I was just being out here sort of playing around and it's fairly easy to do. Uh, one handed, I've got uh, clearance. So we'll just uh, tip this and we'll hang on to it. You could probably do it from the other side, but if uh, you're worried about getting crushed, then I suggest you do it from this side. But uh, that's as far as that's going to go. So that's the next position on the rotisserie. And again, I'm uh, happily pleased with how sturdy it is sitting on those uh, uh, plywood uh, bucks, basically. So, yeah, gives me fantastic accessibility to what I need to finish up on this car. And like I said, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, the floors are still in pretty good shape. They look fairly new. The only area of concern for me is this rear valence inside the rear valence, but other than that, I think the rest of it's going to be okay. Uh, we'll get the uh, We'll get the uh, wire brush out and we will uh, attack some of this uh, rust that we see here and see how we do. It's uh, becoming sort of less apparent that uh, um, I need the use of a sand blaster since I'm going to be, uh, or a media blaster, since I'm going to be cleaning a lot of this with a wire brush anyway. So we'll make a determination on whether this is really required to go to the sand blaster, media blaster, or not depending on if I can reach all the areas that I need to reach. There's some areas here, for example, let me put the tripod down, like up under this lip here, which could probably benefit from, you know, some media blasting up under here. So, I mean, technically I could probably do a little bit of media blasting here in the garage, but it's something I don't want to do anymore because it makes a, a mess out here, but I really can't make much too much more of a mess than me uh, stripping off uh, tons of Bondo and paint so I don't know we might bite the bullet and do some media blasting out here as well all I know is I want to get this as clean as possible before I put it into epoxy primer but yeah the access is extremely good um, and obviously I can flip it up the other way to get uh, at what I can't on this side um, so yeah so I just wanted to give you a quick shot of that and uh, I think it's going to be really really handy to have in the garage so, I think that's it for tonight. We'll probably upload this just so you can see where we're at. Not a lot of content, but uh, anyway, it's something to look at. And uh, we'll probably get out here tomorrow. As I mentioned, we have a long weekend here at Family Day tomorrow. So, I'll probably get out here tomorrow with a wire brush on an angle grinder. And uh, we'll start uh, maybe cleaning up this uh, trunk pan over here a little bit. And getting some of that rust off there and seeing what we're left with. Alright guys, that's it for tonight. We'll uh, see you out here tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, just after 10 p.m. I'm just out in the garage shutting off the heat and shutting off the lights. And I thought I'd give you just a quick shot of the underside of this car. I uh, couldn't wait and decided to uh, get the wire brush out going on the uh, angle grinder. So we gave it a few minutes of uh, cleaning. So we got some of the undercoating and some of the rust off. So I thought I'd just give you a quick look of uh, how that's coming along. There's the uh, aftermath on the floor. So we did uh, uncover a problem here. We got quite a bit of uh, holes in this uh, valence, the rear valence, pretty lacy there. So, and you can see more there. So as I continue along, I'm sure I'm going to unearth quite a few more issues there. So that looks like that's gonna need a new piece to put in there. But uh, other than that, it seems to be cleaning up okay. Um, anyway, we will get back out here tomorrow and we will continue with our cleaning efforts. But I just wanted to give you a quick update on that. Alright, that's it for tonight. We'll shut the lights off and go in.